guys, Irene here. Uh, today I'm shooting with Mia Maples, who's gonna be our model. And we're doing uh, how to take Instagram pictures. So I'm just gonna share some tips and tricks with you guys on how to take these cute, adorable pictures for your Instagram. We also filmed a really cool video on Mia's channel where we took pictures in ugly locations yeah. and we're trying not to get kicked out out of Home Depot and Tim Hortons and other places. So. Uh, I would definitely, definitely recommend you guys go and check it out after this video. I will put the link in the description down below. So we're gonna start right here in this kind of meadow, just the field, very wild. Yes, very wild. <laughs> and um, I gave Mia some flowers over here. Uh, I think it's gonna be a little cute prop for our pictures. And she's wearing a brandy dress with white cats. Uh, it definitely helps to have a cute model for your photo shoot. So that's definitely number one. Make sure that the model fits with the theme and everything looks uh, like it makes sense. So that's why we kind of went with this type of look for this location. Tip number two, uh, props. It's something really, really important, especially if you're working with someone that's not an actual model or is not really good with posing. Uh, whenever you have something for the model to focus on, it's a lot easier to come up with poses. So if she just had nothing in her hands, then she would be thinking, what should I do with my hands? Yeah. <laughs> but now that she has the flowers, we can do so many different poses around the bouquet of flowers. So yeah, that's where we're gonna start. Actually, let's do it this way. Because this way we have the light Another thing, make sure you're always looking out for the light that you have. So the sun is currently behind the model. So it's gonna give us a really nice backlit look. So that's why I positioned her right here. I'm gonna start with just kind of quarter looks. So kind of from her knees up to. Another thing, I always like to shoot wide open. So whatever your lens goes to, I usually like to set it to that number because then you're gonna get that nice blurry background. So for me, I'm shooting at 1.4 right now for my aperture or f-stop, ISO 100 because it's so bright outside. And then I'm gonna just adjust my shutter speed accordingly to the picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a few shots to see what it looks like. Okay, and it needs to go a little bit higher. So let's see. Okay, so my shutter speed is at 2500 right now and that looks really good. Yeah, that looks really great. Let's do more of like, more movement. I want it to be very candid. That's another thing you, for Instagram, it's, I think the, the very candid pictures are really popular right now. So yeah. try to get your model to move around and kind of goof around, just be kind of, you know, be cute and funny. Yeah, yeah. And then whenever you're shooting that, just be, make sure that you will be able to grab. Yes, yes, here we go. That's so <laughs> much nicer. Yeah, getting the genuine laugh is also great. I always tell my models to kind of smile at first, but kind of like, ha 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 ha, but it always turns into an actual laugh. So yeah. it's always good to kind of get them going. Yeah. So hold this bouquet a little bit closer to you, kind of like, yes, yes, exactly. Exactly, that's really cute. Can I get you sitting in the grass? Yeah. Is that okay? And just kind of like sit in the, yeah, exactly. That's adorable right there. What if you sit more kind of like something like this? I guess I don't yeah, 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 like this, like with your leg out like that. So another thing is to get your angles whenever you're shooting. So I'm using a 35 millimeter lens, which is pretty wide and kind of similar to the pictures you would get on your phone. And I think it looks really nice whenever the model kind of gets the leg out like this, right into the camera. It's gonna make the legs look so tall, so long and the model tall. <laughs> Actually, Sorry. can we actually get maybe both of your legs like this? At an angle? Yeah, kind of like, like this, you know? Yeah, here we go, that's better. Yeah, here we go, this is the pose. Oh, that's adorable. 
Oh, I love that. That is really cute. And let's do some a little bit closer. What if you just kind of put them like this on the side? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I liked how you had the other hand kind of like this. So this one is just kind of like, psh. yeah, exactly, exactly. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my 85 as well. I always find it's great to get a variety of different uh, angles and different shots. So we're gonna switch up the look just a little bit with an 85 millimeter. 50 millimeter is another great lens for these type of pictures. Okay. Yeah, that's really cute. Oh, I love that. This hand though is a little bit awkward. Put it somewhere, yeah. Maybe like that is better, yeah. Don't be afraid to tell your model if something does not look good, if it looks awkward, because they, they want you to tell them if it looks good or not, okay? Yeah, that's really cute. Let's maybe take some of you kind of like holding it really close to your face. Yeah. And get, I want to see the hair over here. So what if you just kind of like, yeah. Yes, oh my God, here you go. That is so good. And also tell your model if, if it looks good. I want to get the same one on that other lens as well. So that same pose kind of like going like this on the side with your hair. Yeah, that looks so good. I know. So if it is getting bright, uh, what you can do is close your eyes and I'm going to tell you on count of three to open them. Okay. So one, two, three. Here we go. Okay, now stay there. What I'm also gonna do, let's take some pictures on the phone because I, I know that not everyone will have like a professional DSLR. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some just on my phone as well. Now with the phone, it's all about the angle and making sure that the angle actually works for the model and not the other way around. The distortion is usually quite strong. So something that I recommend for a portrait is actually just zooming in a little bit. That way your lens is gonna, like the ones that on your camera is gonna turn from a really wide one to a more of a regular one. So I think that looks already better. Okay, that looks great. Yeah, that's so cute. Oh, I love that, I love that. And now let's take a wide one. So I'm gonna zoom it back in and I wanna get her legs in the shot. Yes. Let's do another one. Let's do the one of you moving even more. So, I'm gonna shoot it with this one on the 35. So you're gonna be on this little path, okay. but I want you to like walk with the bouquet holding like this and like turning around at me. It's kind of like that, okay? okay. <laughs> and if you can get the hair flip in there, that would be great as well. Okay. Yeah, just keep walking. It's not gonna be good. Try, let's try, let's try. Me. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, what are you talking about? Look at the supermodel. Oh my god. What? No, they, they look great. They look amazing. Okay, let's keep doing that. Let's keep doing that. Oh my god, that is so cute though. Okay. 
I'll try and really flip it. Yes. The reason why these pictures are so popular on Instagram is because they make it look as if they're there yeah. because it's from my perspective and when they're looking on their feed it looks like they're following you that makes sense that's why the ones of like the follow me are so popular so like anything that you can if you can make the picture look like you're interacting with the viewer it's gonna make it look so much nicer all right let's keep doing that same little pose that you're doing yeah I think we got it. I think we got it in this location. So we're going to go ahead now and uh, drive up to downtown because there's so many cute locations there. We're going to use even more different props. So yeah, let's go and change an outfit and go to downtown. Great. We just got uh, some candy as a prop because you always got to make it cute for the Instagram. Yeah, so we found this little cute spot. By the way, we are in Kensington, which is one of like really trendy spots in Calgary, which I think is, again, perfect for Instagram pictures. Uh, anywhere downtown is nice too, but there's so many of these cute little spots here. So we saw this little table here. I love the colors. Uh, it's nice and bright. And yeah, like I said, we got this lollipop from the store, from the gummy store. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just take some pictures now. And I'm gonna still continue using my DSLR and the 35 millimeter lens first. Just try to turn it, yeah, turn it more towards me like that. And don't cover your face with it too much. Yeah, that's cute. What if you hold it more like this, like straight on? Yeah, not, not like this, just kind of like close. Yeah, yeah, that's better, here we go. I'm getting a little bit lower here to get like a nice angle on her. Let's do more with like your legs too. So don't go too far. <laughs> don't go too far. So kind of like, maybe if you kind of lean on one leg like this, you can put them, yeah. Or no, you know what? Lean on the table. <laughs> put one, yes, like this. Yes, here we go, here we go. That looks really good. So again, with her leg extended like that, it's gonna look so, it's gonna look so tall. Bring it just a little bit closer to you and bend it just a little bit. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that was perfect. What if you bite it? Yeah, that was cute. Do it again, do it again. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's cute. So now I'm gonna take some more on my phone. So if you get the Lightroom app on your phone, which is free, you can actually adjust the settings on your phone, which is, I think, pretty cool. So I'm gonna go here to take the picture. And over here, you can adjust your ISO and the shutter speed and the white balance. I think it's super handy. So let's see. We're gonna lower our shutter speed. That looks awesome. And I think the white balance actually looks pretty good. So you're gonna keep it just like, oh, you know what? I like you holding it like this. Yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, it's like that, that's cute. Yeah, that's super cute. Another thing that's cool about using the Lightroom app on your phone is you can sync all your images straight into your Lightroom album on your PC. So you don't have to even like put it anywhere online to get them from your phone. It's gonna go straight to your uh, PC if you have Lightroom also on your desktop. Okay, so let's do, let's do some more close-up ones. So like hold it up like as if you're, you know, like to your face kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, like that. Oh, I love when you kind of were looking up at me like that. Your eyes look so big like this. A 
Also make sure that you look out for the details, like there's a no smoking sign behind her. I don't really want to get it in the picture, so I'm gonna make sure that I position her so she's covering it. And look at me, yeah, look at me kind of like this. Yeah, that's super cute. Okay, and just feel like that on my actual camera. Okay. Just like where you were doing, yeah. Love it. All right, I think we're good in this location. <laughs> All right, so we found another spot and little tip here. I don't know if you guys can see it from the camera, but in this pathway right here, the trees are creating almost like a little arc and it's gonna look really, really cool in the picture. It's gonna kind of frame our composition really nicely. And also anything that has leading lines that go straight like this are gonna create a very good like symmetrical image. So just overall, that place is gonna look really, really nice in pictures. So I'm gonna, get my model just right in the middle over here so just stop kind of go up to see where that tree is okay. yeah just over there i think i might actually switch up to my 85 millimeter lens for these ones because i do want a lot of blurry background so something like this goes up to 1.2 for my shutter speed and it will really blur everything out on the edge, like yeah on the edge yeah and just kind of like you know how you were like looking like this, yeah. And let, oh, let's do this. Hold your all of your hair kind of like in a ponytail, you know? Yes, that's really cute. Cute. Awesome, that looks awesome. Another little spot I just noticed over here, whenever you have the sun behind the tree, it will create that really, really nice bokeh. And this is perfect right here. So if you stand right in the middle over here, yeah, stop here, stop there. And if we get, oh yeah, this is really, well, I'm gonna do full body over here, all right? And we have all of these cute houses in the background, looks really nice. So I want you to be like super playful with this. Like, honestly, you can just, just do, yeah, do this, like do whatever you feel like. Like think that I'm just like a cute guy you wanna impress and be cute with, you know? Yeah. I wanna see what this looks like on the phone. I'm gonna keep taking them with my Lightroom app. I just find that it works the best. Ooh. Okay, we're getting all of this nice light into the lens and it's almost like giving us like a lens flare. It looks so nice. Let's try to do one like hold my hand. So like, and then, and then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, hold the, yeah. All right, so we are finished with our photo shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Mia and her YouTube channel, especially the video that we filmed together. Again, it's gonna be linked in the description down below. If you guys have any other questions about pictures, how to take Instagram pictures, don't forget to comment and I'll make sure to answer them. And how did you like the photo shoot? Loved it. <laughs> loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>